Because I've been getting so many emails, PMs, replies on Twitter, and all this different stuff about doing a second what not to do in talking to women video, I finally decided to give it. And if I'm not totally lying, I only got like one email about it. Fuck you, that's a lot for me. If for some reason, like you're a new subscriber or you just suck, you haven't seen my first what not to do in talking to women video, I'm gonna put the link right up here. So go watch it. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys take one look at me and think to yourself, that guy is such a fucking pimp. He must never see his penis because it's always too busy being in a girl's vagina. But actually, I mess up when I'm talking to girls just like a lot of guys do. More likely, I mess up worse than a lot of guys do. So learn from my fuck-ups. Here's what else you don't do when you're talking to a girl. Never walk up to a girl, look her up and down and say, So, are you fat or are you pregnant and fat? It's not my fault. It was an honest question. And I figured if her self-esteem was lower, she'd be intimate. I didn't think I would have to say this, but never try and sing a love ballad you wrote yourself with guitar accompaniment if you can't sing or play the guitar. Because first of all, you look like a douche. And second, her ears will bleed. And her vagina. I'm kind of hoping that was a coincidence. Like, oh my god, this music is so bad, my ears are bleeding. But it also happens to be my period, so my vagina's bleeding too. You didn't cause my vagina to bleed. It just... Yeah. Holy shit, what if she was pregnant and my music was so bad I gave her an abortion? Should I be disturbed or start my own abortion clinic? This could be a new thing. Abortion, the musical. I'm sitting on a gold mine. Albeit the gold mine is sitting on dead fetuses, but yeah. I think it's about time we move on. If you're having sex with a girl and she tells you to love her a long time, because apparently I have a thing for Vietnamese prostitutes, she doesn't mean have sex with her for two minutes and fall asleep. You know, I think she was expecting too much from me. That's my personal record. And you know what? If she knows what a long time is during sex, what does that say about her? It says she's a slut. So you hear that ling now? You're a slut, and I don't care how many vaginas you have. I don't want to take your bullshit anymore. I mean... What? I've learned from experience that it's pretty much never okay to ask a girl if you can call her Big Ted during sex. When I say Big Ted, I mean, um, Theodore Roosevelt, because he was our president. And I have respect for him and stuff. I'm not gay. You no, know, all those penises and stuff just kind of gross me out. Ew. Anyway, if you're on a date with a woman and she asks you to describe yourself in five words, don't say... Five words? Uh, okay, I think I can do that. Um, go down or go home. Pretty self-explanatory. I just really like a girl that likes to have a good time. I mean, likes for me to have a good time. She can literally go fuck herself. And I watch sometimes. Also, if you're about to have sex with a girl and she tells you that she likes to roleplay in bed, don't say that you're roleplaying as a guy who doesn't have herpes. They can't even tell that I'm joking. No, I don't have herpes. What are you, stupid? I have gonorrhea. Don't be mad at me. It's not my fault. Your big sister gave it to me. Everyone has it from her. She gives out gonorrhea like it's flyers on a goddamn street corner. Sorry, I got distracted. Men, listen closely. This is the last and most important thing I have to say. If you're on a date with a woman, she asks you about your hobbies, make sure you never ever say hookers, strippers, gamblers. Stripping with gamblers, having sex with hookers that like to gamble, and strip gambling with hookers that occasionally strip on the side just to make some extra money for their kids to go to college. Yeah. Oh, that's why girls don't like me. I'm not a bad person. Just because you meet a girl and so way to have a one night stand, promise you're gonna call the next day, then never call the next day, make her pregnant, make her homeless, and give her herpes, doesn't mean that, oh my god, I'm a bad person. Okay, all of that was a joke, but I'm guessing you know that because you're still here. And whenever you're talking to a girl, think, what would Matt do? And then don't do that. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.